And, you know, not so long ago, returning to our normal routine seemed far off in the future. But here we are, mostly happy to be back to schools and offices, seeing people and interacting in person. However, for some, the thought of reengaging may cause feelings of dread and anxiety. So here with ways to deal with those feelings and adjust to this new normal is Carlin Persil, who I've not seen in forever. Come and have a seat, except for inside, you know, the confines of a small square. That's how we've been speaking with each other since 2020. So this is a big treat. You look radiant. And I want to talk a little bit about people who um, they just sort of want to avoid meeting people. How do you help them deal with their anxiety in this new normal? What do they do to try and get there? Or do they just not go there? <laughs> well, the first thing <laughs> is not going there actually can really lengthen your anxiety. So it's important to be aware of whether you're avoiding or in some cases, why are you avoiding social situations? Because when we do that, we end up not understanding fully what do we need to do to cope? And what happens is we tend to either overestimate how bad the situation can be, or in some cases underestimate our coping capabilities and abilities to deal with the social situation at hand. Okay, so we have to sort of not be delusional no. about the, what's happening here. Is it that bad or is it maybe worse than I think it is? You have to be real with that. So if a person is anxious and decides, I don't want and meet to meet and mingle with people, like that is not where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. um, how do they go about dealing with that? I would say the first thing is to set your boundaries around your why. Why yeah. are you declining? Uh, where is the anxiety coming from? Yeah. Give yourself permission to actually start having that conversation. And if you haven't had that conversation, that's still okay. Yeah. You know, this is a great opportunity for you to create a brave space around your needs. What do you need for you to feel a little bit less anxious? Yeah. And the last thing that I would suggest is ask people what's working well for you because you might have some an idea that might work for me so if you explore and you give yourself permission to just be brave around your needs yeah. you'll find that there are ways for you to start engaging with what looks and feels right for you in the moment i like that and i like sort of reaching out to other people to find out sort of the strategies and tools that they're using to deal with this time because it's not an easy time it's not no. an easy time for a lot of us so say one does find the courage to go out you've taken the first step but then for some reason you are hit with that anxiety and you feel like you're, it's a little bit out of your control because you're taking those steps to try and re-engage and it's not really working. How do you deal with those emotions in that moment? And it's so hard, T, because sometimes, you know, I've heard situations where people have actually gone out and they have a panic attack, they have to leave. Mm -hmm. Or in some cases, what you need to do is take a look at some of your tools in your toolbox. So I often say, your mask and your hand sanitizer are not the only things needed. You should also get into your toolkit. So I have two tools that I'd like to share. One is WAVE, and WAVE actually helps to deal with the emotions in the moment. So okay. W stands for write it out, will, or just witness what you're feeling. A is for allowing it, or maybe address it in the moment, or mm -hmm. ask for help. V is to verify it, validate your experience because you're human and we've never been here before. Right. And E stands for express it or explore it, see what's happening in your body. What advice do you have for the ones who are looking for a way to, to actually adjust back into social life? What can they do to maybe ease that transition? So after that brave conversation with self, I would say start by creating your social engagement card. Okay. It's a great way to not just note your boundaries, but to actually document it. That helps to reduce the anxiety. So, so you've start created there. this card. You've yes. created this card, which is very cool. So this is your social engagement card. Um, and while you explain it, mm -hmm. I am just going to circle. Okay. You go through all the columns and I'll circle how I feel, where I'm at. So I would say start with your vaccination status. And again, you're doing this for yourself and you're not doing it for others. You're starting here. The second is to your touching guidelines. Are you okay with hugs or not? Yeah. And the last is what are you comfortable with? Right now I'm comfortable with walks, sometimes patio, depending on the, you know, the capacity. And the yeah. last one is I'm a homebody. I'm happy <laughs> staying at home. And of course you can write your why, and that yeah. really helps you to remind yourself and others about your boundaries. Okay, so yes, I'm double vaxxed and I have there, you know what, if you're in my bubble and you have given me consent, 
We're hugging. Yes. You know, like I'm very affectionate. I miss the hugs. Uh, and then finally, the last one, I saw a table and chairs and I thought food, so I circled that one. <laughs> so that, but that is about, I, I, I'm okay with engaging socially on a patio. Yes. So, uh, T, we've talked about this quite a bit because during the pandemic, we spoke over the phone, didn't see you, and there's a reason why I didn't see you. Where were you uh, during this whole time, let's say all of 2020 and most of 2021? I, I was a hermit, I was hibernating. <laughs> I was like a bear, I was in hibernation for a year and a half. Listen, I wasn't comfortable. Socially, I'd be like, is this thing worth it? Uh -uh, and I'm gonna stay home. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it's like Carr says, figure out your why. Yes. Figure out what you're okay with. I love that. And I think everyone has to be okay with where they're at in the process. Thank yes. you, T, and thank you, Carr. It's so good to see your face. Great tips. We've shared all of them on our website for anyone who needs to revisit them. That's citylinetv